Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Look, lady, I'm not interested. <laughs> All right, well, I'm sort of on the tick tick, so upsy daisy. Here we go. Hey, hey. With Sony wrapping up its R-rated character journey with Venom Last Dance, we're all wondering who's next in line for their universe if it's not another Spider-Man. Well, the next big thing might just be Blake Lively's Lady Deadpool from Deadpool and Wolverine. Here's everything we know so far, from a potential solo film to a cameo in Marvel's new X-Men movie. One of the standout cameos in Deadpool and Wolverine was Blake Lively's, marking her MCU debut as Lady Deadpool. In a detailed interview with Variety, Deadpool and Wolverine director Sean Levy discussed how important it was for Ryan Reynolds to have his wife and kids make cameos in the film. Levy explained that their frequent presence on set made it convenient for them to join in. It was just honestly that they were available and always nearby. A lot of times we could call people into our edit room and have them record something. Little by little, all of the Reynoldses started being a part of the movie, including their youngest. As the proud godfather of Olin, that might be my favorite voice cameo. When asked about the possibility of unmasking Lively's Lady Deadpool, Levy mentioned that there were no discussions about it, though he hinted, there's always the future. However, he clarified that there are no current plans for her future appearances post-Deadpool and Wolverine. We never discussed taking off her mask, so there's always the future. It's definitely not a promise. We also wanted this to be a standalone movie that leaves everything possible but serves no next movie. It is not a setup for anything, so we'll see what happens. Despite no immediate plans for Lady Deadpool's return, fans are eagerly anticipating what the future holds for Lively's character, whether in a solo film or as part of a new X-Men movie in the MCU. That said, it's now Sony's turn to utilize the Deadpool character in their universe. One of the major benefits of incorporating Lady Deadpool is her signature humor, something that Sony's movies could greatly benefit from, especially with the departure of Venom from their universe. Sony's Marvel Universe has been trying to find its footing, and the inclusion of a character like Lady Deadpool could inject the much-needed wit and irreverence that made Deadpool such a fan favorite. The Merc with a Mouth brings a unique blend of humor and action that could set Sony's movies apart. Blake Lively's portrayal of Lady Deadpool has already resonated with fans, and her character's potential solo film could be a game-changer for Sony. Not only would it capitalize on the existing popularity of the Deadpool brand, but it would also open up new storytelling avenues. Imagine a storyline where Lady Deadpool navigates through Sony's universe, interacting with characters like Morbius, Kraven the Hunter, or even crossing paths with Spider-Man. With the success of Deadpool and Wolverine, the groundwork has been laid for Lady Deadpool's character to thrive in a solo film. Sony could explore her backstory, her motivations, and her unique brand of chaotic heroism. Additionally, her inclusion could pave the way for more crossovers and team-ups, which are always a hit with audiences. With Sony's track record of creating darker, more serious superhero films, Lady Deadpool's humor could provide a refreshing contrast. Her character could bring a balance of comedy and action, much like how Venom's darker tone was balanced with its own brand of humor. Lady Deadpool's witty one-liners, fourth-wall-breaking antics, and over-the-top action sequences could be just what Sony needs to reinvigorate their Marvel Universe. Blake Lively's Lady Deadpool has the potential to become a cornerstone of Sony's Marvel Universe. Her unique blend of humor and action could not only fill the void left by Venom, but also attract a new wave of fans. As Sony looks to the future, Embracing the Merc with a Mouth could be their ticket to creating a more dynamic and entertaining superhero franchise. On the flip side, the Marvel Sony Universe could also capitalize on Lady Deadpool's popularity by giving her a solo movie. Given her appearance in Deadpool and Wolverine, a dedicated Lady Deadpool film could be a major hit. Sony's Marvel superhero movies have been making waves lately, and they're proving adept at crafting successful films within their universe. Sony has been steadily building its Marvel superhero lineup with hits like Venom and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. By tapping into the excitement around Lady Deadpool, they could leverage this momentum to deliver a standout film. With the character's unique blend of humor, action, and depth, a solo Lady Deadpool movie could attract a wide audience from dedicated fans of the Deadpool franchise to newcomers intrigued by her debut. The success of a Lady Deadpool film would likely hinge on several factors. First, 
there's the need for a compelling storyline that highlights her unique qualities and offers a fresh take on the character. Sony's recent success with character-driven narratives and well-executed superhero elements suggests they could deliver on this front. Additionally, integrating Lady Deadpool's story with the broader Marvel Sony universe could create exciting crossover opportunities, further boosting her film's appeal. Sony's ability to blend humor and action, as seen in their recent films, makes them a strong candidate for bringing Lady Deadpool's standalone adventure to life. If executed well, this film could not only expand her role in the Marvel Universe, but also cement her as a significant character in Sony's superhero lineup. Given the current trends in superhero cinema and Lady Deadpool's strong debut, the potential for a successful solo movie is very promising. A Lady Deadpool solo film would also allow Sony to explore her origins and character development in more detail. Originating from Earth-3010, Wanda Wilson, a.k.a. Lady Deadpool, has a rich backstory. Created by Victor Gishler and Rob Liefeld, she first appeared in the comics in 2010. Her journey in the multiverse, her battles, and her personality offer a treasure trove of material for a standalone film. The storyline could delve into her participation in the uprising against the Loyalist government in the U.S., her conflicts with General America, and her complex motivations, including her crush on Charles Randolph. Moreover, with Blake Lively's strong portrayal, the character's humor, crassness, and resilience would come to life on the big screen, providing a fresh, entertaining perspective. Sony's knack for creating engaging, character-driven narratives could make Lady Deadpool's solo film a unique addition to their Marvel lineup. Sony could delve into Lady Deadpool's origin story, offering fans a deep dive into this intriguing character. Lady Deadpool hails from Earth-3010 and was first introduced in 2010 created by Victor Gifler and Rob Liefeld. This version of Wade Wilson's multiversal counterpart has been rumored for a movie appearance since 2016's Deadpool, and there's ample material to explore from her comic book history. In the comics, Wanda Wilson, aka Lady Deadpool, is part of a rebellion against a loyalist government in the US. Her major conflict is against a variant of Captain America known as General America, her involvement in the uprising is partly fueled by a crush on Charles Randolph, which adds a personal layer to her motivations. Despite being a variant, Wanda's personality shares some traits with Wade Wilson's, including a penchant for crass humor and making relationships challenging. The character's humor aligns with the Deadpool style, and it's worth noting that Blake Lively, who portrays Lady Deadpool, had a hand in writing some of Deadpool's jokes, adding a personal touch to the character's comedic elements. Wanda's backstory also includes struggles similar to those of the original Deadpool, such as battling cancer. Though she was initially depicted with scars, modern portrayals of Lady Deadpool generally show her without them. A solo movie could explore these aspects of Lady Deadpool's background, offering a fresh take on the character within the Marvel Sony universe. Her unique origin and personality provide a rich foundation for storytelling, blending humor, action, and emotional depth. If Sony decides to develop this project, it has the potential to resonate with fans who are already excited about her debut and offer a new perspective on the Deadpool legacy. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. Do you think Lady Deadpool should get her own solo movie? Or would you prefer to see her as part of a new X-Men team in the MCU? Let us know in the comments.